Right you guys, got another how-to video here for you. Now, if you uh, upload a lot of uh, videos to uh, social media sites, uh, then you may want to like this video because this video is about how to compress uh, video files without losing any uh, image quality of the video. So we're going to take a look here at an example and I'll show you the steps that I'm going to take. Now I'll get a lot of questions about what uh, screen uh, recorders I use, how I compress my videos, uh, what sort of codecs I use and all that sort of stuff and uh, this one is going to be about compression and we're going to be using VLC here now I know you can use other methods to do this this is just one way of doing things so I know there's loads of other ways I'm just going to show you this one if you want to see more let me know and I'll do my best to make those videos for you now as you can see here we've got a dash cam video which I've not long uploaded I've already converted this down to 720p so the conversion doesn't take very long but you can see even at 720p, it's uh, 2.39 gigabytes in size. Now that is a quite a hefty size of a video file. Now if you're uploading these uh, to YouTube or other formats, it could take quite a while if you're doing a lot of videos. So you want to try and keep these as low as possible without degrading the quality of the video too much. So how do we do that with VLC? Well, let me just show you. I'm going to open this up in VLC so you can see the quality. Here's the quality at 720p. Now I do upload at 1080p, but this is at 720p, okay? Now you can see here the quality is okay. It's readable. Everything you can see on here is okay. But I still want to get that size down to a lower size. So I'm going to open this up in VLC here. Now once this is open, you can see I'm going to go to media and click on convert and save. Once I do this, it's going to allow me to hit the file tab. And then what we're going to do here is add our video file in. This is our video file. We're using this two point, I think it was six something uh, gigabytes. Click open here. And uh, we've got this now in its location ready to go. All I need to do now is hit the convert and save. Now there is some more options here. I'm not going to go into this in this video, but what we're going to do here is convert and save. From here, you've got a drop down menu which allows you to make changes uh, to your video. And what we're going to do is we're leaving it on the top version, but they do have a YouTube HD version here as well, and also for Android and stuff like that. So we're just using the video H264 plus MP3. Now there's also a configuration uh, button here which you can go into but I'm not going to be going into it in this video but you can change video codecs. If you want to see more on this stuff then let me know I can make uh, that video for you. But at the moment we're just going to leave it as it is here. Now we need to choose a destination so I'm going to choose the same folder and we're going to call this dash cam best right. And we're just going to call that dash cam best and save it in the same location to where that other video file is. Now I can click on start and it will start the conversion of that video. You can see it starting there. And if we look down the bottom here, we can now see the bar going along. So I'll speed this process up and I won't cut the video or anything like that. So you can see the whole process and it will take a bit of time. So I'm just going to sit back and let this finish. As the conversion process nearly complete there we go and we can now close this off now if you're looking to get hold of uh, VLC you can download it for free so download that you can get from this website I will leave the link in the video description for you now let's take a look at those files and here we are the, the files are 2.39 gigabytes that was the original file and now the compressed file is 465 megabytes so not only is this going to save storage space it's also going to take very little time to upload compared to this file so you may be saying to yourself yeah but what's the quality like well let's go ahead and take a look so there we are 
that is the actual video files. Now on the left hand side we have the converted version which is 460 something megabytes which is pretty awesome and on the right hand side we have the original file which was 2.36 I think it was uh, gigabytes. I really should write these figures down but as you can see here uh, the quality there's no difference in them whatsoever apart from the size and also the space that's going to save you. Now if you are a content creator then this is a really great way of saving space and also uploading time. So I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button. It really does help and also hit the subscribe button and the notification button right next to that which is a little bell sign if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Anyway Thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support. If you want to see more how-to videos then let me know in the comment section below or go over to my uh, forum and post in the video request section over there and you've got more chance of your video being created. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.